Hey everyone, so I thought it would be cool to do like a cast iron series since I do use my cast iron predominantly in the kitchen. I'm going to be making a frittata today and I will show you how I do that. Um, I think I'm just going to make like a series of recipes that I use my cast iron with. So let's get started. So first I'm just heating up my cast iron skillet. I did make some flatbreads in it last night, so it's just got flour and uh, debris in it from that. But once it preheats and I've got it heating on like a medium-ish heat, once it preheats, um, I will clean this off and start with my frittata. And while my cast iron skillet is preheating, I'm also preheating my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit because I am just going to transfer it to the oven to finish uh, baking. And the thing I love about frittata is that you can just use whatever veggies that you need to use up in the fridge. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna prep these veggies, slice, chop, and then throw them in my cast iron skillet over here. So what I'm doing here is just cleaning off the debris from the flatbreads that I made last night. It does not have to be perfect, but my cast iron is now preheated and I'm going to put a pad of butter in there. After the butter is in the skillet, I just drop in my veggies and saute them for a bit. Here I'm just adding a generous amount of minced garlic. Now I'm just going to saute these veggies and just let them sweat for a while, get them cooked down. Here I'm just adding some salt while the veggies cook down and this whole process will take about five to seven minutes. Here I'm just adding some smoked paprika. So for this frittata, I used eight eggs and about a quarter cup of heavy cream. I'm just going to whisk everything together until it's all evenly incorporated. Once the eggs and heavy cream are whisked together, I pour everything over top of the veggies that I evenly flattened out over the bottom of the pan. This is very important so that every single bite of the frittata has a good amount of mixed vegetable at the bottom. So here I have my cast iron on a medium heat and I'm just going to let that cook for maybe two minutes or so and I will get my oven mitts and pop this in a 350 degree oven. I do apologize for the sound of the cicadas in the background. Uh, in Las Vegas in the summertime, cicadas are super loud and there's really nothing I can do about that. And I'm just going to let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Just watch it and when it's done, the middle will stop shaking and it will be puffed up when you first see it uh, cooked through, but it will flatten out when you take it out of the oven. Here I just topped it with a little bit of cotija cheese. I just had some left in my fridge and uh, I put it under the broiler for like a minute and this is the finished product and it is absolutely delicious. My family loves this recipe so much. 
Thanks for watching, you guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We would love to have you here at the regular home and see you in my next video. so good that's like the absolute perfect breakfast lunch even dinner so versatile you could put anything in here